This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of ANOVA or analysis of variance. ANOVA is an extension of a t-test. With a t-test, you can test two groups to see if there's a difference in means. So let's say you have a group of individuals randomly split into two smaller groups to test the effects of t on weight loss. You weigh everyone at the beginning and the end of the study and want to know if there's a difference between the groups. And if there's a difference between the two groups, you can conclude that the green tea did in fact cause some weight loss. But let's say you wanted to add a third group. A t-test only tests two groups at a time. So you could test the green tea and no tea drinkers or the green tea and the peppermint tea drinkers. In other words, you could use a tea test multiple times, but a much better way is to run an ANOVA. Let's say the final weigh-in tells you that your study participants lost the following pounds over the course of the study. ANOVA will look for two different types of variation. The variation within groups. And the variation between groups. Variation within groups tells you how the scores within each group vary. Not everyone in a group is going to experience weight loss or gain at the same rate, uh, despite drinking the same tea. In this example, the variation within groups looks fairly even, with a range of about 10 pounds. And that's pretty much the same for all three groups. So within our groups, there's pretty even variation. There's not much of a difference. Variation between groups tells you how the variations compare to other groups. Each of the groups has different T's, so you might expect some variation between the groups. However, in this example, each group looks almost identical to each other. You would conclude that there's no variation either between or within each group. So in this example, drinking peppermint tea doesn't appear to lead to weight loss. In other words, you'd accept the null hypothesis that the means are the same. When you run an ANOVA, you're actually testing a hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is that the means are equal. There's no difference. What you want to know is if the alternate hypothesis is true, which is that the means are not equal. Let's go back to our example and switch up the numbers a little bit. Let's say your results look like this instead. Well, again, there's little variation within the groups. Our range is about 10 pounds in each group. There's not that much of a difference between the lowest and the largest. So within groups, the variances are around about the same. So within groups, there's really not much going on with the variance. But this time, there's quite a larger weight loss for the green tea drinkers. So you could probably reject the null hypothesis that the means are the same because of the significant variation between the groups. Of course, you can't just look at your data and draw a conclusion. Most ANOVA calculations are pretty complex and it's usually quite difficult to look at data and see obvious differences. So you'll probably want to run the test in software. The software will give you an F value. If most of the variation comes from within groups, then the T probably doesn't have much of an effect. However, if the variation seems to come from between the groups, this would indicate the T does probably have an effect. So what does this mean to the F ratio? Well, 
Larger F ratios indicate there's a higher probability that the groups do have different means. In other words, it does make a difference. Let's say your F ratio is 5.2 and you get a p-value of 0.1. This high F ratio combined with a small p value means that the T most likely does have an effect and you should reject the null hypothesis that the means are the same. That's a quick overview of ANOVA. You can find more videos on ANOVA and the F test on my channel and at statisticshowto.com.